This video is brought to you by artofthetrek.com. Art of the Trek just recently released their public points of in interest to their maps. Just simply go to the overlays menu on their maps and you have the ability to add campsites, trailheads, water sources, and scenic locations to their public map. This is excellent feature to have as you can help out your fellow hikers in planning their trips and seeing uh, public points of interest. So by simply clicking the overlays menu, selecting which point of interest you would like to add and hitting the plus sign at the bottom, you can add that public point of interest. So Kevin's driving right now and we're in Dolly Sods and we're going to add our favorite campsite that we always talk about in our Dolly Sods videos. Super easy to do. Just fill out some basic information and details about your point of interest and then go ahead and add it. What's great about this too, to help encourage people to use this point of interest feature, um, if you contribute at least a dozen or so of these, Art of the Trek would be happy to send you a free swag bag. So, hey, free swag is always great. Anyways, head on over to artofthetrek.com, check out this feature, and now let's get into the video. Welcome back. We are shooting on location. On location. That's something we live. never do. Live. Don't mind Not the uh, don't mind the wind noise and Sam, good old Sam here, tending the fire behind us. Yes. So uh, this we haven't done a cheap gear video in a long time. And it's, it is cheap gear that we always take with us. So we've done videos about gear we always bring with us, and we've done videos about gear that is super cheap, but we've never we never combined them. And I do think it's some it's worth talking about yeah. because gear and general can be super expensive but it doesn't have to be and you can certainly know no one's bought more gear than Andy and I, I and, and you can find some pretty good deals so we're gonna go through um, a bunch of items all roughly under $35 that we bring and I mean it every single trip yep but first click that subscribe button and folks Please go over to the Backcountry BSing channel. And if you're subscribe, if you're not familiar, we have a podcast. We do a live stream. We feed our wives uh, backpacking food on camera we live. We talk to Bigfoot experts. We talk to Big Sam. Sam comes on. Sam, tell tell them all to, to click on the podcast link and click the like button. If you could please click on the podcast link, that would be greatly appreciated. There we go. All right, back to the video. Thirty-five dollars gear we bring every trip. You want to go first? Sure. What do you got? Okay, and 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 this is true every trip. Every trip, I'm, right. I'm, I'm staunchly sticking to that. Yeah, all right. Deuce of spades trowel. And do you, approximate price? Nope. Okay, <laughs> 10 bucks. 10 bucks. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. It's now, do you bucks. use it every trip? Certainly don't. No, no. That has come with you every single every time. Every trip, I just keep it in my hygiene kit. It's always there. Yeah, that's good. All right. Um, all right, next item. Uh, and this is a good one. We convinced Sam to get one. You don't have one. The Tokes, uh, $22, uh, like, 350, 400 uh, milliliter titanium coffee mug that comes with the lid too. Yeah. Sam's got one. It's got uh, degradations on the side for like volume amounts. And these are sold at REI now. Yeah, I've got a Snow Peak one, but it's, it's probably over $35. I don't or remember. Close to. Close to it, yeah. yeah. Um, so the, the, the pot. Next item. Oh, I was gonna say trekking poles, but they don't come with me on every trip. I didn't bring trekking poles. Never mind, no trekking poles. But if you're looking for a good budget trekking poles, check out either the Sam's got the the hiking buddy ones. Trail buddies. Trail, trail buddies. buddies and the those Cascade right. Mountain Techs. Those you can get those, those for under Amazon. under 35 bucks on Amazon. But we don't bring them on every trip. Yeah. Next next item that comes every single trip. Now I'm sometimes I bring fancier knives, but I if if um I always have a Oh this thing. I always have a Derma Safe razor blade. Um, in my pack, this is my primary knife. Occasionally, I'll bring like another knife, but this is always on me. Like for example, I got this knife as well today. But uh, this with me every single trip, 99% of its usage is used to cut Luco tape. And I'm gonna I'm gonna piggyback on that. So I also generally bring a bigger knife, like a Kershaw, but I don't bring a big knife on every trip. But something I bring on every single trip now, and he got me this. Well, you got me into it. I bring the mini Swiss Army knife, and I bring it for two reasons. One, because it's got scissors, which I have found to be much better for cutting tape than that. It is. Um, and it's got tweezers and a toothpick, and it's like $8. It weighs a couple grams. The next item I bring on every trip, because it goes in it, is the Light AF first aid kit pouch. Uh, this is a great, I don't use it as a first aid pouch, uh, but it's a great waterproof little Dyneema pouch. I usually keep um, spare batteries for the camera in it. 
I always keep this in it and it's just a great like all around little pouch and I don't know what it costs but it definitely is under $35. Mine's a first aid kit. Yeah, so that's a good that's a good call. So I don't want to talk too much about first aid kits. It's kind of a cop out answer because everybody brings a first aid kit in some way shape or form on every trip. But this first aid kit I have definitely costs less than $35. It comes with me on every trip. I don't think Jeez. we're Yeah. You don't bring you don't bring this in every trip? I know. I yours is massive. Yeah, it's big. It's big because I um I keep a couple different patch kits for the uh, Thermarest. I keep uh, two extra lighters. I keep two extra chapsticks. Oh, um, <laughs> and I keep some Aquaphor now. It, it doesn't weigh that much. It was certainly under $35. I'm not gonna go through this entire thing, but a first aid kit in general, if you make one yourself, um, it's definitely under $35 and it comes every single time. All right, what do you got? All right, next item that comes with us every single time is my bear line. Now, that's a good one. Um, I always keep this in my food bag, and the reason, you know, it might sound obvious, oh, bear line. We do a lot of hiking that's not in bear country. Like, for example, right now, we're not technically in bear country, but bear line always comes, you know, then you have spare cordage if you need it, but it's always in my food bag. Seems kind of obvious, but. Yeah. yeah, no, cordage was one I was gonna say, but yeah, bear line too. So, uh, next item, which is over there, I'm not gonna go get it, that uh, comes with me on every single trip, uh, is a long-handled titanium spoon. Yeah. Um, I used to use a spork, I got rid of that now for the last like two years, every single trip, you know, there's not many aspects of the cooking kit that come on every single trip. Like sometimes we bring an alcohol stove, sometimes we bring a canister stove, sometimes we don't bring anything, sometimes we cook on the hot tent. So I can't really talk about a stove, but the long handled sp uh, spoon I bring all the time and I like that over the spork. Yep. Um, next item, I'm not gonna show you cause I'm wearing them. Um, every single trip I've ever done for at least the last six years, I've brought a pair of darn tough socks. Yeah, me too. Also under $35. Yeah. So um, I can't show them to you because I'm wearing them, but darn toughs, I mean, in terms of clothing, honestly, darn toughs and like underwear are the only pieces of clothing that come on every single trip. Probably you know? true, yeah. Um, Agreed. Yeah, Sam, Sam Eric's likes the darn, darn tough. tough. All right. Big fan. Nice. Um, all right, what do you got next? All right, next one, buff. Are those under 35 bucks? Yeah, buffs are under 35 bucks. Nice. They're like 20 bucks. Yeah. Do you have a buff? I'm wearing a buff. Oh, oh I got the custom th yeah. Show Brothers Outdoors printed one. I know, one. mine's at home. Yeah. Buff comes on every single trip. So multi, you, you know, you can use it as a hat. You can use it to cover your face. You can use it to lift up pots. You can yeah. use it to dry it's stuff a great off. On. Even when it's super hot, yeah. I still bring a buff. I, I do too. Yeah. So buff comes. Protection. Yep. yep. Uh, next item, Andy's got his, I've got mine. Um, this comes with, us on every single trip, the Nightcore, uh, I forget, is the NU25? One of them's $40, one of them's $30. Is the NU25 or the NU30? Andy's got the $30 one, I've got the $40 one. We're gonna split the difference and say they're $35. Um, we, we do not shut up about these. This is without a doubt the best headlamp I've ever used. It weighs just over an ounce. It's rechargeable. It's really comfortable. Yeah, and you can wear. And then it's on its highest setting. It's, uh, I think, slightly over 300 lumens. Yeah, which is um, pretty awesome. So these are the best headlamps. They come with us on every single trip. Yep. And a very cheap item and cost effective item. All right, what do you got? And this is kind of random, but. Every single trip. Oh, I trip, bring those too. Um, I have a spare, uh, I have headphones that I keep in my first aid kit. Uh, you know, sometimes I need some white noise in the middle of the night. Like if it's winter right now, it'll just be dead quiet. And so um, I like to have headphones and then Kevin and I will be sharing the hot tent. Guaranteed one of us will be snoring. And so, <laughs> um, so it'll be nice to have some background. That's a good uh, yeah, headphones. And uh, I have some super cheap ones I got at like a gas station. I don't bring any nice headphones with me out in the woods because no, you these, lose these them or just whatever. Permanently stay in here. Yeah. So. Um, all right, another item. And this is uh, an item. This is going to sound obvious, but the specific type. So that yellow thing right there. So obviously we always bring a lighter, but now we bring these, um, they're called Bic Easy Reach lighters. And what they've done is they've taken like a, a typical like candle lighter and they've, and they've just shrunk it down to be like, it's like a high, it's like if a, a candle lighter and a Bic lighter like met and had a baby, you get this thing. It's a puppy. Um, and we bring this on every trip. It makes lighting your alcohol stove super easy. It makes lighting fire starters super easy. It doesn't weigh that much more. It is like a, 
you know, 50 cents, maybe more than a regular Bic lighter, but definitely good. I mean, I got a pack of six of these for like 15 bucks on Amazon. So a fantastic um, piece of equipment. The next thing I was gonna about to say, but Andy just brought out, something that is super cheap, even a whole roll of it that comes on every single trip ever, and he got me into this, is Luco tape. Yeah, this stuff's awesome. So um, I have mine around a lighter. Some people will take little pieces of straw and, and wrap it around there and cut it off, and then you have, but Luco tape, you can get a whole roll of it on Amazon for like 10 or 15 bucks. Uh, it is a great tape because it's super adhesive. You can stick it on skin, yep. which is really good, and it'll stay there for days. So anything from like, if you get a really bad cut and you wanna keep it covered with like some um, Neosporin, you can use it. Yeah. It's really good for, for uh, getting blisters on your feet. It's just, it's really good if you need to like MacGyver something together. It's yep. just a really good all-purpose tape. It's the only tape that comes with us on every single trip. Yeah. And I think the final item that I'm going to mention yeah, what do you is that on every single trip we have some. Yeah, and I don't of, always bring those. We That's have some. Good. I'm just going to say fire starters. Yeah. We have some type of fire starters. This is this is three or four cotton balls soaked in Vaseline that I keep in my first aid kit. That's got to be cheap. Always, yeah, always in there. Um, you know, some place we go, some places we go, we can't have fires, um, but they always come with me. They're always there if I were to need them. So. Always some type of fire starter. And the last piece of under $35 or under gear that comes with me every single trip, and I don't know if you bring one of these every single trip, I bought an MSR pack towel about five years ago, yeah. and I used to not bring it on every trip, but I always found, it weighs an ounce, it is super absorbent. I mean, you bring like a ShamWow usually. Sometimes, Yeah. sometimes. I have started bringing a pack towel on every single trip because, I mean, obviously I don't need it on every single I'm trip. I'm a bandana guy now. Um, I have, I have, another item I bring on every single trip is a bandana, I didn't I, even think about yeah, that. Yeah, bandana comes with me on every single trip. I, you, usually in the videos you can see me blowing my nose with them. Yeah, or, uh, yeah. Picking up hot pots or something yeah. like that. This one's all has holes in it and stuff. Nice. It's funny. Uh, so uh, that's all my items. Yeah, I'm done. Is all your items? Yeah. You can see there's not that much cheap stuff we bring with us every single time. Every single time. Um, but these are the items we bring every single time. Uh, generally speaking, under thirty-five dollars. Most, at least half of these items, were like under ten dollars. Yeah. So um, backpacking and camping gear can be expensive, but it certainly doesn't have to be. So we hope uh, you know use this, use these tips, save some money. Yeah. Invest a little bit more in your IRAs. Right. It's getting cold. Let's get. It's getting hot cold, tent. and we'll see everybody <laughs> later.